Stan Jubilisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV, Whiskey One Good Vibrations, here to show you the first antenna tuner I ever had it was called the Johnson Viking Matchbox or the EF Johnson Matchbox. Um, my particular unit had an SWR meter built in. It was the meter was right there, and the uh, device that made it work was a sort of a cylindrical shaped object called the directional coupler. That's what they called it. Uh, I only ran about a hundred watts output uh, at that time, so it was no problem with the. 250 watt limit. Here's a close-up view of that thing. I remember it well. Now that was back before um, my most radios covered 160 meters. It was kind of an oddity. It was in the late 1960s. But I remember using this antenna tuner many a time. Uh, particularly with open wire line, which was provided for by these two connectors right there. You could also run a single wire antenna. Remember how I told you I originally thought that a short wave radio long wire antenna could work as a ham radio antenna? And my Elmer W0GLE bill uh, told me no you have to have an open wire or an open dipole well this would let you do that with a short wave antenna and I finally caved in and got one of these I used ladder line here and you could also use a coaxial line I remember during a severe thunderstorm once I had a the open wire line connected here and um, lightning struck nearby and blew the fuse box all over the room in the ham radio shack. I'm sure glad I wasn't in that room at the time. But the only damage it did to this thing was to arc from the connector to the chassis and make a char mark. Uh, and, and there was just a slight bit of evidence of internal arcing, but otherwise the device still worked as it always had. I also had one of these things, a TR switch with my Drake R4A and T4X so that I could get full break-in operation with those radios. And it worked very well. This was really a, a nifty little device. Um, never heard of this thing. But you can get a closer up view like that. This is Universal Radio. And uh, I, that is their um, website. Let's see what it says here. UniversalRadio.com I guess I'll put a link uh, to, the, uh, to uh, that company in the description of this video. Here's a whole bunch of things I got by Googling on. Now, how the heck did that happen? Oh, well. Try try again. How the heck did that happen? Oh, well. What are you going to do? There they are. The matchboxes. E.F. Johnson, they also had a kilowatt matchbox. Uh, let's see what this one says. Johnson matchbox. How do I get this thing to zoom back down to more or less of a normal size? There you go. Uh, remember Heath Kit? Uh, I believe we had a Challenger transmitter at the uh, 
No, that wasn't it. I don't recall what it was called, but it was at the University of Minnesota radio station W0YC, and I remember getting shocks off of that radio. That was kind of a dangerous radio, uh, the way they had it there. Something must have gone wrong with it. But um, this is Vintage Radio gear.com the best way i what i'd recommend rather than putting any particular link in in here is that you just google like this e f johnson in the exact word or phrase part and then matchbox in the other part sign in oh crap there you go more of that kind of stuff here let's see QRZ forums WW8J Richard Flake um, EF Johnson catalog see what that says old tube radio archives old Hammerlund remember those I'm just nostalgizing here, as many of you old-timers will do as you watch these videos. And that's what I made them for, or that's who I made them for, is you, old-timers. So, uh, do the Google thing. Forget about the links I would have included. It would have, linked, uh, it would have limited things too much. Once again, in the exact word or phrase... You know, the E.F. Johnson Company was located in Waseca, Minnesota, only about 40 miles west of Rochester, Minnesota, where I lived and my dad bought me that TR switch. I remember we had a big storm. It was March. We had a big storm, wet snow, 50-mile-an-hour winds, and as we drove to Waseca, to get this TR switch. Um, I don't remember which one of these it was now. <laughs> Does it matter, really? Just click on everything in sight. C-O-E-I-S from yours truly, W1GV, Whiskey One, Good Vibrations, somewhere in a galaxy that looks like this. And a star that looks something like that dim little thing right there. Saying 73, which means best regards in ham radio jargon. And so long, which translates, of course, to di-di-di-da-di-da. -di 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 -da.